Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer and I just played Super Splatters. It's an arcade style physics puzzle game developed by Spiky Snail. Super Splatters was released for Linux April 18th, 2014 and was included in the Humble Indie Bundle 14, which is where I got my copy. In Super Splatters, you're an anthropomorphic blob of goo that is seeking fame on a TV show. The game has a very polished aesthetic, especially for an indie title. The menus are silky smooth and play into the idea of you being on TV. The physics feel spot on, especially for fluids. There's a consistent look and feel to this title, which really draws you in. It honestly feels like a AAA title in many ways. The music is good and services the gameplay well. Super Splatters also has a personality that a lot of other games lack. Your coach speaks in a dialect that feels like it's either old-timey or perhaps non-English native. One thing I think is worth mentioning, I found the layout of the menus to be confusing. It was hard for me to tell which stages I had completed and which were waiting to be tackled. The layout just felt odd. I could figure out the information presented, but I'd really have to look at the screen and think about it. Say, okay, I've done these and I haven't done that. Super Splatters is a puzzle game with arcade elements. Your goal in each level is to clear the stage of every pod. You do so by spreading your splatters goo on the pods, and then they blow up. Some levels have multiple colors of pods, which require the same colored goo to be activated. There are ample variations on this simple mechanic. It's an enjoyable mix of the Plinko-esque Peggle and a Nickelodeon game show from the 90s. From straightforward stages to complex levels, the game's difficulty curve is a shallow gradient. What do I mean by that? Two hours deep into the game and I'm still learning new techniques and being taught new moves. The game doesn't throw everything at you at once, which is good, but I feel as though Super Splatters could have been a bit faster paced in its introduction. There are a few game modes, Freestyle and Master Shots. Freestyles allow you to destroy all the pods on the stage any way you see fit. Master Shots give you a list of stunts that you need to perform while simultaneously eliminating all the pods in one hit. Master Shots can prove extremely difficult. Super Splatters also has an online component where replays of your games are shared on Splatter TV. It's interesting to see the different ways other people solve puzzles and to learn from watching them. I prefer to play Super Splatters with a controller. It feels wrong to play with the mouse. In my opinion, the way you aim with a cursor which orbits your splatter is a more natural fit for an analog stick than a mouse. Also, kudos to the dev team as the DualShock 4 works without fuss. Super Splatter seems well optimized for Linux. Using AMD's proprietary driver, the game plays at full speed, even at 1080p. I would recommend Super Splatters to people who love puzzle games. If you're a fan of Peggle, you'll probably enjoy Super Splatters. It's available for Linux through the Humble Store and Steam. Links are in the description. Have you played Super Splatters? What do you think of it? Be sure to tell me in the comments or on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my previous 2015's Most Wanted Games for Steam OS. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.